Enzalutamide is a fantastic antiandrogen. It's much different in terms of mechanism than the older drugs that we've been using, such as bodicutamide and nilutamide. Uh, the reason being, uh, uh, in terms of its mechanistic differences, is that instead of just competing with the androgen in the cytoplasm, it actually prevents the androgen receptor from being transported into the nucleus which is where all the activity is in terms of growth, because the androgen receptor is the transcription factor. So if the androgen receptor can't get into the nucleus, it can't bind to DNA and thus cause the activation of, of growth factors. So the older antiandrogens don't have that mechanistic capability, and so it's probably the reason why a drug like MDV works in such advanced patients like who would have ever thought we would, we would never use casodex or nilutamide in patients who had failed chemotherapy. Um, and this drug um, is well tolerated and very effective even in advanced patients. Um, so now the field is um, poised with the question of how do we use these drugs um, in the smartest possible way in terms of how early do we go in the stage of the disease and how do we combine them or partner them with with other types of therapy that might have synergy.